lovelies i hope you're all well so we've just done a video on how you can use the settings in design space for desktop to make your life a little bit easier and we're now going to look at them for the ios app so ios is apple and you can use the app on either your ipad or your iphone now your taskbar will always be at the bottom of your screen in the app and if you scroll right across, you'll see that you've got a settings option. We're going to open that up just by clicking on it. And you'll see we've got four settings and these are actually really handy and useful. So the first one is units. So I'm set to imperial, which is inches, but you can just by clicking on units change it to metric, which is centimeters. So you've got the option to switch between imperial, which is inches, and metric, which is centimeters. As I said in the previous video, most of the time I work in inches, but on occasion, I do like to change my canvas to centimeters. The other option is to have your grid. So the grid is really handy, especially when you're designing something. Equally, removing those grid lines is a great option, especially if you want to take photos in design space, so screenshots, and you want to use those for things like mock-ups to use on other applications or to actually show people a mock-up of what you're going to create. So it's really handy to be able to take that grid away. So when the grid is on, you'll see I'm in inches at the moment. So I've got small grid lines for every inch and then I've got large squares for every two inches. The same with centimetres. I've now changed to centimetres. So you'll see that every small square is two centimetres and every large square is four centimetres. We can also, just by clicking that button, remove our grid. So as I say, if we don't want the grid there because we want to take a screenshot of something, it's really handy just to switch that from having the grid on to having it off. There's also light mode as well. So at the moment I'm set to light mode. It's really handy to actually be able to change this. Although on an iPhone and an iPad, you can change the actual backlight settings. Depending on if it's evening or if it's really sunny and you're outside, you can really struggle to see the screen even when you change those settings. So in design space, you have the option to have a light mode and dark mode, which again is really handy in certain lightings. So you can have your screen really bright in design space, or you can have that black behind. And it's also great for if you want to really create a contrast in your canvas. And when you turn that grid off, if you want just a nice black background, you can have that. Equally, you can always create a shape and put a color behind them as well. I'm going to turn my light mode back on. The other setting, which is really handy, is Smart Guides. So this is great. So if I start moving my images around, you'll see that these lines start to appear. So that shows me how they're all lined up together. Again, I can have it so that this is in the middle of my text right at the end or I can have it slap bang in the middle, or I can have it so it's directly in line on that center axis. Again, I can really position these so that they are all perfectly in line with each other. Equally, if I wanted to create some sort of pattern, for example, I could, and I could make sure that they're all in line with each other. So having those grid lines is really handy because it allows you to get everything lined up exactly as you want it. Equally, I can turn them off so that when 
I move things around, I don't then have those grid lines. I love them. Those guidelines are absolutely fantastic. I always leave them on when I'm working in the app because they're just super handy to have. It's one of the things I really, really wish we could get for desktop because it's so amazing to work with. It just makes life so much easier. And of course, there's other ways we can line things up. And we can obviously use our settings to do that. So we can obviously line everything up. But it only goes so far in the settings. These guidelines really do map everything out for you. So just four nice, easy settings in the app, which will make your life a little bit easier. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. As always, make sure you subscribe give the video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!